Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of who, you who don't know me, um, I make videos about food and gardening and zero waste, like natural living, sustainability, um, that type of thing. And today's video, I actually have a review and it is of a multivitamin that I just finish. And it's a kind of a new concept to me. I mean, I know that they make these, but I've just never had them before. And that is a liquid multivitamin. Uh, this is by Mary Ruth. I got mine off Amazon, which I will link below. The first one, which is this is like the daily, you know, everyday multivitamin. And this is what it looks like. I got the Essentials Plus formula. They do have a regular formula that's not that. Um, this just comes with a like um, a fruit blend that has like elderberry and everything in that. So I thought that was cool. So I went with that one or this one. Um, it is, let me just read the front part to you. Non-GMO, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, zero sugar, zero fat. And this is the strawberry flavor. And a serving is one fluid ounce or two tablespoons. And there are 32 servings in this bottle. Um, so I was drawn to a liquid multivitamin because I can't swallow pills. I I'll show you the exact size of the pill that I can swallow. Um, and you're going to be like, you're a child. So this is my levothyroxine thyroid medication that I take and like just for comparison look at oh gosh look at it compared to the size of my pinky so this is this is my standard this is like the max that I can swallow in terms of you know pills and stuff so I can't do the big chalky kind and I love the gummy kind I'll admit but I know those have like a lot of like fillers and stuff I know that's not good for you so yeah I decided to go with something new it's also good to note that one of the reasons why that I chose this liquid multivitamin and why I'm drawn to liquid multivitamins is there is um, some research and support stating that your body better absorbs liquid um, vitamins versus pill vitamins and I figured you know if I'm gonna take a vitamin the most effective way to consume it would be in a liquid. Um, there are a lot of different brands out there that sell liquid multivitamins and I'm definitely going to be researching on vitamin shop of like a good, really good one. I, I'm pretty sure Garden of Life um, makes a liquid multivitamin, which I love Garden of Life. I think they're like very good in terms health wise so I think if I were going to try another liquid I would try theirs but I don't know in terms of flavor if it would be as good because the flavors on these were just so it, it was much so easy to take you know and Garden of Life is very natural and when I'm saying natural like their vitamin C tablets if you know one of the raw ones um, it kind of smells and is like very reminiscent of like just their multivitamins in general are just like very earthy like green juice type if you've ever made yourself green juice with the powder so I don't know if their liquid multivitamin would be similar but I would definitely be willing to try so again that is one of my other pros for this vitamin is that it is liquid and that it can be better absorbed by your body overall I really loved this I like the liquid consistency um, so yeah so this is a morning multivitamin and then she also sells this multi mineral nighttime vitamin again non GMO vegan dairy free gluten free soy free zero sugar zero fat and this one um, I think the main thing that it has is the mag magnesium and zinc um 
it's just like a kind of a nighttime formula to help you like relax and um, get better rest so I'm gonna be reviewing these together because I took them at the same time I started them on the same time and I ended on the same time and my opinions are the same for both of these so right off the bat you can tell like this is like really nice packaging it's very clean looking i like the colors like i don't feel like it's overwhelming um it's just really nice flavor wise this one's strawberry um it tastes like the liquid version of a a strawberry pop tart like this is and the liquid version it tastes identical in my opinion and I hate strawberry pop-tarts so the flavor of this one not enjoyable <laughs> but the pineapple dream that I got for this nighttime one I really liked like this was like delicious I, I thought Chris tasted like a little bit and he did not like it but yeah so flavor wise they taste Decent. I mean, I'm sure if you like strawberry pop tarts, you'd love this, but I just don't. But yeah, flavor wise, good. Texture wise, so this is a thick um, liquid. Uh, if I hadn't already used it, I would show you, but it is on the thicker side. It's not like water thin. Um, I would say it's similar to whole milk, maybe like thicker than that though it's like I don't know how to describe it but it's a thicker consistency but the flavor helps you if you're a texture person maybe you wouldn't like that but that's that I loved I noticed immediately that I felt better taking these um I've never been prone to get sick ever so I don't know if it you know in terms of that I don't know if that would help you like in that way but to me, I felt like I had a lot more energy throughout the day. And when I was sleeping, I felt like I slept better. Like I went to bed easier. I slept more soundly. And just the energy with the sleeping, you know, this to me was a really good com combination. And I really like these. The downside of these, in my opinion, other than the packaging, the packaging is like plastic. Um, it's recyclable, but um, it is just plastic packaging. Um, I know this one, this uh, multivitamin comes, I, I discovered this after I bought it. It comes like in a glass container, but not all of their liquid products do. So that might be a little bit more sustainable. Um, but yeah, these... That, that's a downside another downside is like um, they're pretty bulky like they're just bulky I mean it's bigger than the the length of my hand and it's pretty wide and for Chris and I we both meal prep our lunches for work and so having our lunches in there with just our normal food it was kind of like playing Tetris trying to find where to put these in the fridge um, but no matter what type of liquid vitamin that you get, I'm assuming that you have to put it in the fridge. So just know to make space for this because it does need space, obviously. Um, I have a whole blog post review, which I'll link down below, that goes into like more detail of these two products. But yeah, I think if you had like any allergens, I mean, this is pretty allergen free. I mean, dairy, gluten, soy. I mean, those are kind of big ones. Um, and I mean, this would be a great option, I think, for a lot of people, especially this one, because you could buy this multivitamin and every single person in your family could use this. On the back here, um, it has the suggested use and the serving size for adults, young adults, and children. So children as young as two can take this multivitamin. Um, they would get half a teaspoon, whereas a full grown adult, you know, 18 plus would take two tablespoons. So that is one good thing. Like if you just wanted to buy one vitamin for your whole family and everybody just take the same thing, 
you could do that with this. Now on this one, um, it's, it, the dosing only starts at age 12. Um, the 2 through 11 says consult a pediatrician. And of course, if you're pregnant and stuff, it says to, to consult on that as well. But yeah, that is definitely a big plus. And if my husband didn't already have like a very, uh, I don't know what the word that I'm looking for. He has his own routine when it comes to his vitamins and minerals and things like that. So he, he wouldn't go for this just because he's already got his stuff, you know, but obviously the servings wouldn't last as long if you were using it for your family, but it would, it's good to know that you could easily just buy one product and your whole family would have the vitamins and minerals that they would need. Um, and like I said, this one in particular has the elderberry. Um, I've been reading a lot about elderberry with just flu and cold season um, coming, you know, it's been around or whatever. And it has a lot of properties that help, per, you know, protect your body from the flu. And I'm not saying coronavirus, that's totally different. Um, but for the flu, elderberry is... A good natural remedy and it's just very cool to see that in a multivitamin where you're getting that every day um, and then if you had like a vitamin C supplement as well you could purchase that this does have a hundred percent of your vitamin C um, but I know a lot of people just take an extra vitamin C supplement for that but yeah and it does have folate it has a hundred and seventy percent but I don't think this is the like amount. It says, how many is it? 680 MCG of folic acid. So whatever the prescribed amount for pregnant women I'll put on here and then you can kind of decipher um, if this is something that you want. I've heard of people using this as a prenatal in addition to like a few other supplements um i wouldn't but you do you everybody makes their you know consult with your doctor because who knows but yeah i hope this review was helpful to you and if you guys want to purchase this project product i will put it down like i said in the links below so you can get it and i'll link the website as well and you can see all their other products i did purchase um also from them iodine supplement as well as the probiotic but I'm not going to review those yet because I haven't even finished them up. So it was really, it's really pointless to do that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I did start a new multivitamin after I finished this one. And as soon as I'm finished with my first month of that, I will tell you how I would like it and what it is. And I actually added a few different supplements Um because I realized how much I love this. So now I'm taking magnesium at night. <laughs> but anyways, I will see you in my next video. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Bye.